I'm working with the kids yesterday at Soweto was uh, definitely an eye opener. Um, you know, you see them, you drive around there and uh, you know, they don't know that much but uh, you know, to see them happy and running around, uh, it's, uh, you know, it puts a smile on my face as soon as, um, you know, we see them smile and, and uh, yeah, so no, it was good. Uh, we're just teaching them how to tackle really, uh, ball skills, uh, Willie Genya was with, uh, with them uh, just drawing passing little skills like that and uh, me and Bo were looking after the breakdown. So no, it was good, there was a lot of talent there and um, hopefully one day they push on to, to be with Springboks. Yeah, it was a really enlightening experience going to Soweto and working with the kids. You know, you see how the majority of this country that uh, is mad about rugby, but just seeing how they actually live and what they've got. You know, they don't have fields, they don't have boots or jerseys or anything, but they're just happy to be out there, um, you know, playing and enjoying the game and they've got all the skills. Yeah, look, I think if um, those kids could have the opportunities that we have back home or that what um, other people in South Africa have, you know, the potential is... Uh, massive there and it's probably a massive untapped resource that we'll have to look out for in the future playing the Springboks. Well, it was uh, good to get out and again give back to the community. Um, uh, it was a great experience and I think uh, the boys who did come out, Dave McDooling, uh, Albert Anne, um, Will Genia and uh, media manager um, Tom Kennedy really uh, were quite grateful for the experience. Just how appreciative they were that uh, you know, people off their own bat were um, coming out and going out of their way to give back to the community. Um, you know, they said that when they thanked us and they said and told all the boys that it, was, uh, it wasn't for money or anything, that we were just doing it. And you could see the, uh, the boys were really excited and happy that we'd taken the time out to do it. Oh, look, I think it was really special. You know, gained a, a different perspective on how, uh, how life is lived in certain areas and obviously going to, you know, Soweto where the guys are very, uh, very much less fortunate than what we are in Australia and even here in Johannesburg. So you gain an appreciation for the good things that you have in life. but. Um, and also, it's really nice to give back, you know, to, to young kids who are obviously, as I said, less fortunate. You know, we don't do these things for money or exposure or whatever. You do it just to help out and uh, from the from the goodness of your heart. So it was something really special, and it's definitely something I saw as a privilege.